Okay, so I've started a uh, file here for the examples for chapter 15. So assignment EX1, it's assign, assignment method X, uh, example 1. So I have the typesetters, the jobs. Down here I have the cost numbers that were on the slides, so $11, 14 6 etc. Um, again, we have nine decision variables, so I've highlighted those in blue like I like to do. And then over here I have the sum product of the output, the decision variables, times that. And right now it's $0 because there's zeros here. Uh, so we need constraints. So for that we need a left-hand side that contains a formula. So this is going to be a sum of these guys, and they're going to equal 1. And I'll be able to drag this down all the way. I don't like that. One, one. Excel's too smart sometimes. And then we also want to make sure that each uh, typesetter only goes to one job. So we need to do the sum of the columns as well. All right. And I can drag that over. And this is going to be equal, equal, equal. And it'll be one, one, one. And we did equality because we have three jobs, three typesetters, so the equal sign should work. So now we need to go in the solver and set this, this guy up. So set the objective. It is, in my case, I3. We're minimizing, because this is cost, by changing, pick these nine cells, D3 through D3. B3 through D5, subject to the constraints. So we'll add the two sets of constraints. Uh, the left-hand side here, so each over the jobs, right? Make sure that it equals the right-hand side, these guys. Click Add, and then I can add the second set of constraints, which is the columns, so B6 through D6, equal the ones, click OK, got the two sets of constraints, make unconstrained variables non-negative, and simplex LP. I am not going to go, so I told you before that the variables have to be binary, um, which is a different type of constraint to add, we could do that, uh, but I'm going to try something, and maybe we'll get lucky. Um, I'm going to leave off the binary restriction and see if I get binary variables back. So I'm going to click Solve, and voila, found an, a solution, all constraints. And notice I can get these reports because I didn't put on in an integers or binary. I'm not going to kick any out, but click OK. So it says the total cost is 25, and job R34 will go to typesetter C. Job S66, excuse me, will go to typesetter B, and job T50 will go to typesetter A for a total cost of $25. So that's the best that we can do. Notice that leaving off the binary restrictions, I still got integers back. That will often be the case for this because of the way the matrix is set up and some nice linear algebra fun stuff going on in the background. All right, so that's the first example. So now let's go back and look at a second example.